Hey, what's up? This is Laid Back Luke, DJ and producer, and a special shout out to a packed Lavo New York and Time Nightclub Costa Mesa, California for having me. We are somewhat back and I'm enjoying being back in action. And in this session, I'm excited to discover new talent, new tracks. Let's hear what you got. Okay, you've seen it in the background. We're right here in the back, in the background of the Mix Mash demo site. And so in this video, I'll be reviewing 12 to 14 demos. Let's listen to demo number one, which is the first demo on this page. Air Defense by DTS. And I do think it's cool. He's from Boxmeer, the Netherlands. My uncle used to live there. So let's hear it. really enjoy the creativity in here. Well done, Don. I hear you have a good ear for melodies. I hear you have a good ear for programming and programming beats as well. And so well done on this. The only thing that's missing right now is the quote unquote professional sound, but how to get there, you will actually get there uh, if you do this for a longer period of time, making your producer kilometers, as we would say in Dutch, or miles for that matter. And the first piece of advice I can already give you is to try and sample a kick drum from a professional track and use that as a base for your track, like the basis for your track. Because when you think about it, if that kick drum is already mastered and has already come out and you balance all of your sounds to that kick drum, the basses of your track will already be sounding very professional. Give that a shot, keep on making tracks and tracks and tracks, and this will definitely help. Keep going. Demo two in this vlog, as I'll scroll down, I actually wanna do two per page, but I guess I'll do uh, three uh, for this page. Wow, Plastic Funk on my demo uh, website? Plastic Funk re already releases on Mixmash, by the way. Okay, let's go for Bad Drops. I like this little artwork that he put there, so it caught my eye. Bad Drops with me. Yo, Dep, Dep, Yo, Yo, Dep, Yo, Dep, Dep, Yo, Yo, Dep, 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 I'm always happy to press stop on a track and let you know bad drops. No comment, only good drops in this track. What a production quality, exactly the type of vibe that's working on the dance floors right now. Excellent production, I am really enjoying this. So this one goes into the awesome list and I will let this here to the Mixmash A&R Boris, see if he likes it as well and we will be in touch. It's always nice to find a contender in these demo vlogs. Okay, next one, Filter of Love. You know, I'm gravitating towards the, the artwork there. Do, are you noticing this? Okay, let's have a look at, or a listen at this one. It's always a good thing when you see me going like this when listening to a song. But before I tell you what I really think of it, Mix Mash Records is on fire over the last few weeks with the release of Need You by Mark Bill and New Sound Nation.
as well as the new driver seat remix by Dave Summit. I can't help but think of nothing more than a great festival summer. And then this Cashew's last release on Mix Mash Deep called Roll Up is trending in the Beatport Best New Future House in June. Roll up to the party. So definitely give that track another listen as well. All right, here's my verdict. Steam Filter of Love. I love it. What a great track as well. No comments for me. I just hope and pray that this is not a splice vocal. But this one as well, another contender in this demo vlog, goes into the awesome list and we will be in touch with you as well. And before I forget, if you enjoy me making vlogs like this, give, make sure to give me a like right now. And also I want you to participate in this vlog as well. So feel free to leave any comments. Obviously, if you want me to keep on making these type of demo vlogs and keep vlogging, make sure to subscribe on this channel as well. If you haven't, uh, there's the little bell notification as well. Hit that as well. And we'll continue to demo number four of this demo vlog. For this one, I'll just go to page number two and I'll scroll down a little bit. If you see your name flashing by and I'm not picking you, I am so, so sorry. I only have room for 12 to 14 demos. So demo number four in this vlog is going to be Bond. Don't be alarmed. Hey, good vibes. I love the deeper vibes. I also like the little spoken vocal on it. Production wise, I do think this can be ramped up or amped up a little bit. Overall volume is a little bit low and obviously you don't need to win the loudness war. But also here with the choice of kick drum and maybe how the bass line sits in this track, I think it can be more effective where maybe if you swap out the kick drum and, and Put the bass uh, line up a little bit louder in the in the volume and if you're having trouble with that currently just make sure to uh, to low cut a little bit of maybe you could even go up to 50 hertz of the bass line and so you, you can lift up the volume of the bass line without it you know uh, swamping the kick drum or making all of your low end muddy. Some quick little tips there. If you didn't get picked to be listened to, make sure to write these down. If you didn't know them, write these down and uh, at the end you'll have a, a list that you can work by. As for Bond, keep on going. I like this deeper sound. I do think it has a lot of potential and just keep on coming up with more and more tracks. As we scroll down for more and more tracks for demo number five for this vlog, um, Bipolar in the night. I'm enjoying this and a great production as well and so if you compare this production to the previous production then I hope you can hear what I mean with the kick drum is a bit punchier here uh, the bass is sitting heavier in this track and so overall it comes across more in your face right and so bipolar with the with the vocal in there as well I hope it's not a, a splice vocal one of the reasons we don't sign tracks with splice vocals is because they are available for everyone so say we put your track out then you know maybe it becomes a really big hit or success then anyone can take your vocal and make it their own track and so there's a little bit of a discrepancy there where at this point as a, a record label to officially put out music we we don't really know what to do with splice vocals but i'll put this in the awesome list talk to my a and r about this as well and if he likes it as much as i do 
and we'll contact you back. Ooh, I like what they did here with the little Mix Mash logo. So I'm gonna press on that for demo number six in this vlog. Escape Your Love by Romy Lux. I'm just gonna stop it right here because I'm totally convinced straight away. I'm getting Fisher vibes meets the Dutch house sound. How amazing for my sets is this? Definitely contender. Same goes for the vocal here. We'll find out. I'll put this in the awesome list. Awesome stuff, Romy Lux. We'll be in touch probably. And you know what? It does make my day. When, when there's so many contenders in this vlog, when there's so much awesome music around, I love music. I love hearing amazing demos i love hearing all of your demos actually this used to be an awesome demo as well unity and his new track somebody and i love it I could definitely see me playing this out. And what about you? I have even put it in my laid back music playlist on Spotify. Make sure to check the link in the description. All right, on to the next one. So let's go out to demo number seven. See how this stands out? I'll just press it. Real love. I, oh, hang on. I have mixed it. I will be making adjustments, but it's getting closer. So enjoy, okay. Uh, hey, it's Mickey Stardust. Good to hear new music from you. It's been a while. And the Psytrance sound definitely brings me back to the summer of 2019 as we skip 2020, right? Not bad on the mix at all, but I'm, I'm happy you're working on it. And I, I can understand nowadays, 2021, to get the mix to sound like how everyone sounds nowadays. I'll tell you the big secret, actually. What the majority of professional producers do nowadays is actually they hand in the stems to to an engineer or to an to a mastering engineer and he will stem it out and master it out and this is one of the reasons why a lot of people sound very similar nowadays where everyone has that pristine sound that's up there you can have this sound as well except you'll need to pay for that. So you'll need to hire a mastering engineer. He will get down on your tracks and he will make it sound top, top notch. There's no shame in that. You can absolutely do that, but you will just need to invest money possibly for every demo that you make, or you do it like I do and learn to do it yourself, which is my preference, but not a lot of people do it anymore. So Mickey Stardust, nothing but respect. If, if you're tweaking on this mix and you're getting closer and closer, that's the process. That's the process I enjoy as well. And this is a very cool track, not necessarily something for Mix Mash, but happy to hear new stuff from you and keep it going. And we'll keep it going for demo number eight in this vlog. Let's go here. The Way, Marigold and Silver. And you know what? Actually, I'm gonna stop it right here because it says different records. So this means this track has already come out and I don't want to take away the opportunity for an anyone else uh, that is here in this demo drop right now or, or watching who doesn't have a label. So the demo drop is specifically not for me to play tracks out that have come out on a label, but to actually discover new talent and sign this new talent on Mix Mash. So, no different records right here. So we're gonna go for a non-artwork track. Voxy, Scream and Shout, demo number eight. For too long, see me lose my self-control. Just 
such a sad and moody song. I do, I am digging it. I love that little piano. I actually enjoy, for streaming reasons, the slap house drop there and obviously Russia, Kazakhstan. Maybe that sound is over, big over there as well and especially under young producers. I think this is interesting. So I'll put this in uh, the maybe list and I will have another listen uh, to this a little bit later. Production wise, maybe a little bit low on volume. Obviously we could fix that uh, whenever we would sign this track, but a good production. I hope the vocal is original and way to go on balancing that kick drum with that slap house bass. Taking it out to page number four for demo number nine. Hey, I've seen this Nicholas Glazer coming by. Maybe that's Nick who always watched uh, this vlog as well. And I always had the number one comment. Let's have a listen at this. A sign the track is called. Hey, not bad at all, Nicholas. Really good on the melodies. Really good on that. It's almost like a festival vibe, right? Reminds me of a lot of Dutch music. Mike Williams, a little bit of Kirby, although Kirby isn't Dutch. Possibly Lucas and Steve in there. So obviously to reach their type of mix down, this track will need to be tweaked. And it's a lot of just detailed work that needs to be done for it to get to that level. And obviously Mixmash isn't really looking for that sound right now. So I'll need to pass on this, but definitely try and get this out to spin in or whichever label puts out this type of music right now. But way to go, good to hear stuff from you and amazing, amazing actually. Better than I expected, so make sure to keep it up. Demo number 10 of this vlog, Sam van Velsen, Sam van Velsen, probably Dutch. Don't come back. Oh, that's a groovy track. I love the housey feel on this Sam song. Very good. I often wonder where the vocal comes from. Maybe people should just leave it in the, in the description so I can see. Hopefully it's not from Splice. But in terms of sound and uh, Sam says it's like tech house, I feel this is more like defected type of house music. And I'm not sure if that's mix mash. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm gonna put this in, in the maybe folder and maybe we'll have a listen to it. Your sound though, Sam, is super awesome. Keep on going with that. Just push and push and push. Keep on making more of these because it stands out. It stands out. It's a timeless type of sound. And I think by keeping up, you can do really well with this. Two more demos left on this vlog as we go out to page number five. So much artwork, see that? Should I pick no artwork this time? So make sure to leave in the comments what you think. For this one, I'll choose the No Artwork by Edgar and Andrew Nagy. All of my love. I'm running through the sound like I don't care. I'm hoping you will answer all my prayers. All of my love, I give you all of my love. Such good demo tracks in this vlog and this vocal sounds 
huge to me. Hopefully, Andrew, this is your neighbor or someone you met online that handed you a big vocal like this. Maybe it's Edger. Is this Edger singing or is this Andrew singing? Anyway, a really good track. Feel the kick drum can be be a bit more powerful. Possibly some frequencies in the bass line that can just give it a little bit more body. But overall, this is very good work. Overall, I'm not sure if this is mix mash material in 2021. That doesn't mean you suck. That means this track needs another home. And this is the thing with demos. It's not about you not being capable to produce. It's about landing the right label for your track. So whenever you get a no or it's not for us or no response, just and, and you believe in this track, keep on pushing it and find a label until you land it, until you land the right track at the right label. And amidst all of that, make sure to keep on producing and keep enjoying producing. So last demo of this vlog, demo number 12, the Rave EP. It's a whole EP. For clarification, an EP is usually a collection of tracks. Three, four tracks together makes an EP. So I'm not sure if this is an actual EP, but let's listen to this track. Maria needs a little bit of streamlining and what what I've possibly said about the engineer and the mastering engineer that sort of thing obviously I would love for you to learn that by yourself how to properly mix down and master a track so that it actually sounds like David Guetta and Morton and can compete with them for me the drop in this track for me is drop number two in this track and I think you should focus that just make drop number two also drop number one future rave I love playing it out as well but when it comes to other people than David Guetta and Morton I would love for you to find your own sound and your own sauce in between this type of genre where where it's like oh yeah it's not Morton it's Maria Maria Sevak. I think you nailed the feel on it though. I think you nailed the drop. Just focus on the second drop and maybe then just demo around a, a sort of a cleaner, better mixed and mastered version of this and I'm sure you'd be able to land that. And so again, if you saw your name flashing by and I didn't listen to you again, my apologies. This demo drop is crazy. There's so many, so many demos that we receive each and every single day. If we don't reply to you, we're sorry as well. What it's about is that you enjoy producing, you enjoy evolving, and you enjoy landing, eventually landing your tracks at a label, putting it out on SoundCloud, get more plays, and it's a whole process of years. And so don't get discouraged. Just keep on making new music and keep enjoying making new music. I cannot wait to tell you what I have for the next vlog, but before I do, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget the bell. And did you like this video already? Next time's vlog, it's a DJ tutorial. I'm going to help you save your mixes. I'll give you my tips to get yourself out of trouble mid-set. Catch you back here for the next one. Until then, L's up.